Building Circuits. Temple University hosted this year's two-day A-10 tournament at Geezy Field, where the Owls welcomed in UMass, Richmond, and Lock Haven. Facing single elimination, Lock Haven took on Richmond first. In a battle dominated early by the Bald Eagles, Richmond scored two late goals to pull within one. Lock Haven, however, managed to bury one more to seal a 4-2 victory before the final whistle. In game two, Temple faced the top-ranked team in the conference, University of Massachusetts. UMass, who was 14 and six overall, had high expectations coming in. They're playing good, they're playing hard, and uh, you know, there, there's three seniors here that don't want to go home and don't want it to be the last game, so I'm sure they'll pull through. Temple had 10 saves in the contest and forced an overtime, but just over three minutes into extra time, the minute women ended the Owls' hopes of winning a championship on their home turf with a one to nil victory. Uh, um, we're on our home field, we really played great here. I think our team um, had a lot of confidence that we were undefeated on our home field in conference and we wanted to use that to, to help us have the confidence to win today. At 2 p.m. on Saturday, the 2010 A-10 championship game was set to begin as UMass squared off against Lockhaven. The minute women netted their first goal at 12.24 into the game off a corner. Lockhaven, however, held off UMass for the next 52 minutes. In a game that tested both skill and toughness, the championship was still up for grabs. With under two minutes left to play, UMass's Alexis Achilles scored off a pass from the left side. The minute women held a 2-0 lead to take the title. At Geezy Field, for Al Sports, I'm Craig Doyle.